It's that time of year when you are all wondering what are the spring colors? Today I'm going to give you an overview of what is coming up for spring 2021. Just to get you excited, we're going to show you some pictures and that kind of thing. But we have been hard at work, the Style Squad and me, we have been hard at work on picking out the colors out of the trend colors for the new spring closet outfit planner that comes out in March. And it has been so much fun. So I feel like I've got these colors like in my brain, but I wanna go through them with you so you can sort of have a heads up of what's going on. Let's get started first with the, the pop colors. Let's call it the pop colors, not the neutrals. We'll go over the neutrals in, in just a minute, but let's look at the pop colors. So the colors are really, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. I think that Pantone, who you know decides color of the year and that sort of thing, I think they decided that this was just going to be a season of of brightness, springiness. Yeah, there are a few deeper colors in there, but it's it's going to be so fun. So let's take a look. So the first color I want to show you is called marigold, and marigold looks great on a deep, looks great on a warm might be a little too strong for a soft, but they're calling it a comforting golden orange infused yellow lends a warming presence. So that's what they're saying about that color. I think it's fabulous, beautiful color. Great for a warm, wouldn't you say? So the next color is cerulean. So if you've ever watched the movie Devil Wears Prada, there's a great line in the movie when the heroine says, you know, oh, what about, you know, something like, oh, and she didn't like, you know, like, oh, this, you know, old thing or whatever. And, and Meryl Streep says, oh, you think you just picked that up at, I forget the store, but in some bin and at ca maybe she called it casual corner. I think that's what she said. When the people in this room chose that color for you, several seasons ago and it went from here to here to here and it's cerulean it is not light blue so that's the color this season and pantone says it's the color of the sky on a serene crystal clear day this is going to be beautiful on a cool on a light on a soft if you are a clear you can mix it with with you know your brighter colors um it's fantastic the next color is rust which is a little unusual i think for a spring color to come out this dark but you know i don't know if it's i don't know i don't know uh we did not choose that for the warm outfit planner just a heads up when it would have been perfect for fall but eh, i think it was just too close to the pumpkin that we used back then but it says an earth-inspired brown emblematic of autumn leaves, autumn leaves, uncharacteristic of a spring palette. Yeah, even they're saying it's uncharacteristic. So why'd they put it in? I have no clue. The next color is one of the two colors of the year. The colors of the year this year are yellow and gray. You're going to see a ton of it. We did not pick that for everybody's closet outfit planner, by the way, but we did give it to one or two. But illuminating is this next color. It says it's friendly and joyful and optimistic yellow offering the promise of a sunny day. So there is your yellow. It's super bright. Now you are going to see many shades of yellow this season from a very pale yellow to a very bright yellow. So probably everybody could wear it depending on what you do with it. So cools, you could probably wear a bright yellow if you put it with the bright blue, what I'm going to share with you next, which is called French blue. Love this blue. I think it's going to look great on most everybody. It says it's a stirring blue hue that awakens a vision of Paris in the springtime. And who wouldn't want to go to Paris in the springtime? How pretty is that? Beautiful color. Next is green ash. I really like this color. I think that you're going to see a lot of shades of green this season. I don't know if you know this or not, but the color of the year that Pantone originally originally chose for 2021 was aqua. And it was really strange to me when they came back, they came out with yellow and gray. Aqua would have been perfect. I mean, it would have been beautiful, but I guess they decided against it. So you are going to see a lot of greens and blues this season, all shades of them. And so this green ash, it says it's a mentholated green. 
just that description kind of tells you what kind of green it is, right? A mentholated green that cools and soothes. I do think that even a cool could wear this green. I think everybody can probably wear it. Even a cool because um, it's got a lot of blue undertone to it. It's beautiful. But you are going to see um, all shades of green this season. The next color is called Burnt Coral. I tried to wear it for you today. This is as close as I could get um, to the Burnt Coral. You're going to see very pale peach all the way up to kind of a deep, uh, a darker darker coral this season. Inviting Burnt Coral expresses conviviality. There you go. Uh, it's beautiful. I think it's great. Pantone also picked the color mint. And so this is a lot deeper and brighter actually than the green ash, but it says tasty mint refreshes and restores. I don't know that we're going to really be eating this fabric. They're, they're kind of doing this a little bit, aren't they? Like a mentholated green that cools and soothes. Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of, I think that was kind of an odd description, but anyway, it's a great color, beautiful green. The next color that you're going to see here is Amethyst Orchid. It says the floral shaded Amethyst Orchid introduces a unique touch. You are going to also see shades of, of purple this season that are from very pale all the way up to a deeper, deeper amethyst like this. This is a kind of a brighter amethyst, kind of a brighter purple. It's, it's pretty. I think it, oh, even a warm could use it because it, if there's enough warmth to it. So... Um, it is a great color. The last pop color is called Ro <laughs> Raspberry Sorbet, and it's kind of like a hot pink or fuchsia. Um, they say vivifying, never even heard that word before, vivifying raspberry sorbet tantalizes. Okay, there we are again. Tantalizes what? Your taste buds? I don't know. So anyway, but beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I know I didn't go through each of the color codes to see. Really, I would say that probably is a color that um, most can wear. I'd be careful with the softs and the warms, for sure, no warm on that. But you're going to see from very pale pinks all the way to bright pinks. That's it for the pop colors. And you guys can start going through your wardrobes and kind of see what you have in your closet. And just know that we will be sharing with you about mid-February, the colors that we've chosen for the closet outfit planner. And I'm telling you what, we have gone back and back and forth on it. Yes, no, yes, no. And oh, we've came up, we have come up with a beautiful, beautiful palette for you. All right, so let me talk about the, the neutrals. I think the main neutrals that you're going to see this season is one that is called, well, it's the gray, and they call it Ultimate Gray, but the other one is called Inkwell. Inkwell, really, when you look at it, you're not sure if it's navy or black. Inkwell is like that black blue. Um, you're going to see it on the Closet Outfit Planner. I'm not going to tell you who gets it yet, but you are gonna see that. You're also gonna see Ultimate Gray. In fact, I will give you a hint. We gave three of the color codes the Ultimate Gray and we gave three of the color codes the Inkwell. All right, another color that is, you're gonna see a lot of this spring is called Willow. Willow is kind of like a soft olive, beautiful, really pretty. But again, I think, I think it's more of a fall color. I didn't wanna bring it into to the to the spring color because I felt like it was more like the military olive that we had last fall. So we're not gonna see that on the closet outfit planner. And then the next color is Desert Mist. And it's great, great neutral. It's sort of a tan, for lack of a better word. That's easy, right? Um, so tan is just, a, you're gonna see it floating throughout. And then the last color is called Buttercream and it's just like a darker ivory. And I think it's beautiful. You're gonna see a lot of white this this summer, especially in spring. I mean, you're gonna see um, a lot of all white outfits, white dresses, and um, we're trying to decide what we're gonna do with the whites for the closet outfit planner. So we'll let you know that it's it's a beautiful color, but you are gonna see a lot of monochromatic looks this season. Same color head to toe, whether it's white or whether it's raspberry sorbet or one of the other colors, you're gonna see a lot of head to toe looks. But 
That's what I have for you today. I just wanted to give you an insight into what's happening this season. And um, if you don't have the Closet Outfit Planner, it's on sale right now until February 15th because we're going to be introducing spring. And I know some of you are, are like concerned, like, oh, you kind of wanted to see it, but you didn't get it. Now would be a good time. You can get it for $17. So um, just go to closetoutfitplanner.com. But in the meantime, start looking at your wardrobe, start looking at your closet, look at these colors. What do you see? Look, I would say take out the, the darker colors as you're starting to move into spring and get ready for our introduction of the spring planner so you can have an amazing wardrobe and do it with us. So anyway, love you guys and I will see you next week. Thank you.